so I, <clears throat> so I haven't blogged, you know, because I've been going through some other stuff like kidney pain. Unfortunately, fucking around with my bladder and having them kidney stones have just like fucked me up down in the vagina area like i cannot hold my bladder like for shit if my bladder gets full it's just over i'm peeing right there on the spot like everybody i didn't have them problems before i had that fucking stent put in my shit like now i'm having what they call kidney spasms i was in the hospital yesterday for kidney spasms and i guess that's like uh <laughs> Whatever the fuck it is, that shit hurts like hell. Like, it's like five steps under from being a kidney, from feeling like a kidney stone. Kidney spasms. Like, ugh. They gave my ass some tutorial, though. I was like, that bullshit ain't gonna work, motherfuckers. Y'all had me all fucking delighted for these kidney stones. But it's so fucking unfair because... They trying to punish all the people that's really having medical issues. They trying to throw us in the same pot as the people that is motherfucking hooked on all these painkillers. You know what I'm saying? I don't take none of that bullshit. I don't take it. I don't put it in my body unless I am like in dire need and I need some type of pain medication. That's the only time I would take it. Other than that, taking that shit on an everyday basis. Bitch, I'm not about to kill myself or make myself look old as fuck. Don't nobody want to be on no goddamn hard-ass medications like this. But if I got kidney stones and I'm trying to pass these bitches. And these bitches feel like motherfucking my insides is just getting towed out every time I pee. I feel like that's torture. You should give, You should give people medication. Like... So I'm at the hospital, I'm like, oh my God, I'm having these horrible ass motherfucking pains. They gonna give me some bullshit ass tour though. The fuck am I supposed to do with this? That shit instantly gave me a headache. I'm like, nah, I got high blood pressure and I got a headache and this medicine ain't doing shit. That was like just taking medicine just to take it. So they end up giving me a muscle relaxer, which I want to know how is muscle. Well, okay, if I'm having spasms, the muscle relaxers can relax my kidneys, I guess. And you know, <sighs> what you do, when, what happens when you get in your 40s? Like, as soon as I turn 40, man, <sighs> seem like everything just start fucking way to fall apart and shit. <sighs> Even the sex life. One day, somebody's going to make me happy. One day, somebody going to put a smile on my face. I'm going to think about him and I'm going to be like, oh. one day, maybe not. I don't even really look for it really no more because I'm at peace with. I'm at peace with being peaceful. So, I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. Sometimes, like, when you have, like, all that shit going on in your life, you miss out on your peacefulness because you're already going through so much chaos. So, you miss out on your peacefulness. So, when I get these peaceful moments that seem so boring and, like, lonely, I enjoy them because I can remember when I was in turmoil or like trying to get over somebody or trying to deal with somebody i remember just just being miserable and now it's like i'm not miserable i'm just at peace you know i just i still got the situation going on with my kids father but you know i just think like i don't i don't i know people probably would judge me and say that i'm a bad mom for not allowing him to see him but to me if you really loved him you would have been in his life five years ago and we wouldn't even been going through this like the situation is really bothering me in the inside because i know how much my baby loves him like i i raised my child to respect parents and elderly elder people you know like i pump a lot of boys.
into a child so that he can grow up and do things differently how it was done with us you know we didn't I, I don't think me or my kid's father grew up without a father you know and i don't want mine and want my son to go through that but at the same time like they can't understand my point of view and it's so frustrating you know i got the girlfriend saying which is the baby mama saying that you don't i don't need communication but then i got this beef with him because i feel like i'm not gonna say he will hurt my child but i don't trust the people around him i do think the people around him will hurt my child and this is like has dragged on to the point where i had to cut all communication off like just cut it all off change my number leave the whole situation alone let them do them and get them together and when they can get their stuff together then you know come back and see if you know what i'm saying you can put things back together right but for now we need a time out that's how i feel because there's no point to keep going in the vicious circle and keep us for us to keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over why go live your life like you've been doing you coming in for these few months don't make no difference when I done did this shit for five years by myself. On days that I struggled, you know what I'm saying? You think what you do is going to really make a difference in my life when you was never there? I'm not hating on my kids, father. I'm just trying to just simply put it out there like you had a chance to be the best dad but you the one turned your back and then you pointed the finger at me all that time and you made it seem like i was the drama queen the drama queen the facebook drama queen you tried to make it like i was the victim you called me the victim oh you want to play victim oh you want to play victim you even said that i trapped you and you know like through all of this bullshit it was you all along that had the fucking it was the fucking drama queen it was you all along that was screaming victim because i got pregnant and you wouldn't give me the money and i was like fuck trying to be around you when you feel abusive i'll just stay my ass away i had already made it up in my head i was gonna do it on my own you know so that little child that little child is my fucking life and to put that put put my child in the presence of a person that i know don't like me or my child i can't accept that i can't go for that that's where i draw the line that's where i cut all communication off sorry like things need to be reevaluated. we need to take a pause and things need to be reevaluated re because the way it's going i don't like it and i don't want to be a part of it and i know that it questioned a lot of to what I, I was already building something but doing this is going it's going to make it question a lot like you know like you ain't as real as you say you are but it's not about me being real it's about taking a time out you know what i'm saying because it's just not working it's not working for me i don't know if it's working for them but it's not working for me like you can't tell me i can't communicate with my other child's dna like if you want my child you're gonna have to communicate with me i don't give a like that's just like i i can't do it so like because i don't want to deal with it i'm going to remove myself that's how i deal with stuff i just remove myself and i'm probably going to be removed myself for a long time like i don't want no pop-ups at the house because i i don't pop up at their house so i'm just i'm hoping that, that they don't pop up at my house but if they do we gonna have a problem because i'm not allowed to pop up at his house so you definitely not allowed to pop up in my house we gonna keep these rules fair because i don't think is that the lady oh okay i don't think that 
you want me to really pop up at your house. And if you push me enough, I will. I don't give a fuck if you don't knock answer the door i leave a note on the door like treat others how you want to be treated i just want to be left alone so you've been leaving me alone for the last five years so you might as well just keep on like what's the purpose as long as my child respects you and knows you that's all that freaking matters that's all that matters he'll always respect you he'll always love you you just gotta get it together Hope one day you see this video too. Matter of fact, I'm going to address it just for you. So if you ever stumble across my my um page or you ever stumble across my YouTube, you will see that the, 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 the subject for this one is To My Kids Father. And you know, I'm going to pray for you. MB because you're really gonna need it future wise you really are and I'm gonna pray for your soul and I'm gonna pray for your mom and I'm gonna pray for her soul I'm gonna pray for all of you guys cause you guys need it You got a storm coming. You're going to need all your prayer warriors. And I'm going to leave it at that.